Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the channel. It is the day after the 2024 Tacoma reveal, so we still have that on our brain, and that is a beautiful new truck, but today it's all about this truck. We're going pump to pump, about 175 miles. We've done it with the Pro. We got 19 MPG with that, so we'll see if this regular iForce can beat it. Now, one thing I want to tell you before I leave, and we were going to have updates throughout the video talking about is there wind noise? How's the driving experience compared to the pro suspension? All of that. But one thing I want to tell you right away, if you're going to buy a double cab, one thing you may want to make sure you get is a bed cover, like a tonneau cover, maybe a trifold, whatever you want. Because I'm going up to golf in Pennsylvania and usually I'll throw my clubs back here, but there's a threat of rain. So I put the clubs in the back seat, but I want to show you what we're dealing with here when we get to the back seat. So I absolutely packed out my back seat, golf clubs, golf shoes, hoodie, overnight bag, under the seat, under storage, you'll see a picture right now. We got a bunch of potato chips. We got some stuff under there as well. So just one person, just me, I'm the only one going here in this truck and I packed out this back seat completely. So if I had a tonneau cover, I would put my golf bag back here and my overnight bag back here and still have plenty of room inside the cab. So if you don't have a big crew max cab, like most of you have, and you do go with the double cab, something you're going to want is definitely that tonneau cover. By the way, I don't know how good you can see it. Pollen, as far as the eye could see, absolutely all over the place this year and early too. But that is my one main suggestion before we get on the road here. Go down in the comments below and let me know what you think this truck will get when it comes to MPG. Like I said, this same trip with the TRD Pro got, it was like 18.98, so we'll say 19 MPG. But uh, I'm hoping this thing can beat it. We're gonna drive it normally. We're not gonna hyper mile or anything like that. We're just gonna drive the truck and I'll see you out there on the road. Okay, so we're just merging onto the highway to begin this trip. Once again, probably about 175 miles. Things we will be looking for, the wind noise that everybody always talks about. How does the truck drive compared to the TRD Pro on the highway? Because one thing I've always said is the TRD Pro suspension is absolutely awesome on the highway, especially when you live in an area where I live, like New Jersey, where the roads need some work. Uh, the truck at high speed really gets over the bumps nice. You don't really feel a lot of you know jittering in the cab or anything but uh, I haven't driven this truck on the highway very much, just locally to get to and from a few miles. This is my first main trip on the highway. And right now, just joining the highway, doing uh, 70 miles an hour right now, extremely quiet, not a lot of wind noise. There's no creaking or rattling. One of the things I wanted to make sure I looked for in this trip was the difference in the interior material from pro to this because in the Pro, everything is soft touch. Um, everything is a little more high end. In the SR5, there's a lot more plastic. And that's what you guys were complaining about with the 2022 model year Tundras, is there's a lot of creaking in the SR5 and a lot of wind noise. So, so far, so good on that. Um, obviously, we just joined the highway a few minutes ago. So we're not gonna make any calls on that right now. As far as getting down the road in this truck versus the iForce Max Power, I say this all the time, I'll continue to say it as long as it remains true. The iForce Max is very powerful and fun to drive. This engine should not be a, an afterthought though. It is extremely smooth, it has a ton of power, it gets the truck up to speed nice, it keeps the truck at speed nice, it doesn't feel like the truck is struggling. It's just a nice smooth ride right now. As far as the immediate reaction, this is a smooth part of the highway. Going from the TRD Pro suspension to this, which is the TRD off-road suspension, the Bilstein shocks, this has the 20-inch wheel and tire package from the TRD Limited and TRD 1794. So far, so good. We are 50.3 miles into this trip. Let's talk suspension versus the TRD Pro suspension. This suspension is still just fine, gets down the road good, it's not uncomfortable in any way. Is the TRD Pro suspension better on the rough roads? Absolutely. It's a lot more of a, you know, a softer feel. This is kind of a stiff suspension, so you, you do feel the heavy bumps, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not, you know, in a negative vibe in any way. It's just different, and the TRD Pro suspension is better. So, 
if you're thinking about TRD Pro and something else and you do buy the TRD Pro, just know money well spent. The suspension is a little bit better, a little more travel in that TRD Pro suspension, and that will make the difference. We are on 287 right now. If you're in the New York, New Jersey area, you know that road is usually very terrible. And this time of day, it's not bad. We're flowing nice. We've had no stoppages. A lot of tractor trailer traffic coming out of New York City right now on a Friday. So we're just trying to stay ahead of it. They have to keep right, so I'm going left and overall a nice driving experience so far i will tell you the one thing i've noticed over everything and i know it's stupid but i'm gonna make the call on it anyway these new tundras are just insanely quiet and i mean that in the way of there's just no engine noise whatsoever i'm used to the trd dual exhaust growling the whole way or even in the trd pro there was the fed in noise uh, this has nothing. This is just, there is no fed in noise on the SR5. This is just quiet. All you hear is the radio or a little bit of the outside noise, um, but really no big deal. It's just very, very quiet. Traveling along nice. There has been a few areas of congestion, nothing crazy. Average miles per hour is probably between 60 and 75. Um, but so far, so good. One thing I do want to bring up to you guys if you're new to Tundra, or even if you're not new to Tundra, we must applaud Toyota no matter how much you like the new gen or not. And even in the old gen, the mirrors are fantastic. And a lot of these trucks now for the Tundra, different trims it doesn't matter all of them pretty much I don't think SR does have blind spot monitoring which definitely helps in a double cab there's a pretty decent blind spot in that back right but the mirrors are fantastic they're big but they're not obnoxious they don't look like tone mirrors or anything they flow nice with the body but very functional big fan of the mirrors trucks running smooth no complaints whatsoever as of right now um, enjoyable truck the seat we've now been in this for an hour and 49 minutes and uh, the seat is still very comfortable. I don't feel like I need to get up and stretch my legs. Good seating position, very comfortable with the bolstering. I always have been a big supporter of the seats in the new gen Tundra and Pro had a nice seat and this is also fantastic. So I will talk to you again at the end of this trip. We're 104.4 right now. This trip ends at, um, I think it's 175, it's something like that. So I will ride on get to my destination and get back with you momentarily. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just filled up and I have some great news for you. The numbers we just got because they're actually very impressive and uh, they're actually better than the iForce Max. So let's go over the math of this and you will see the pictures as we do it. So the trip was, the distance traveled was 168.6, elapsed time two hours and 50 minutes and it was 8.037 at the pump so we did the, the standard thing, let it fill till it pops, and then wait 10 to 15 seconds and give it one more squeeze, which we did. So if we do that math real quick, 168.6 divided by 8.037, 20.977. 21 MPG on this trip, and that is better than the iForce Max, which was, I think, 18.96, so we'll say 19. So I, I almost got two MPG better with this engine. That is uh, awesome. So a great trip. Um, I now have to go down the street to the house we stay at to play golf, which is awesome. Uh, but I wanted to stop here and let you know the trip was great. I don't have really any cons. It was a nice, smooth trip. Uh, we hit a little traffic. Um, truck felt great. Very quiet, very quiet truck, something to get used to. I'm used to hearing uh, the exhaust of the V8, and even in the iForce Max, there was the fed-in sound. This had nothing. Everything ran great. I will say one thing I learned on this trip, too. 
This doesn't have the JBL sound system. Can't get JBL and SR5. The sound system is just fine. The sound system is just fine. I didn't feel the entire time like it was any less uh, you know, the bass was good, the treble was good, it was absolutely 100% just fine. And to the naked ear, you probably couldn't even tell the difference. So overall, this trip was a great success. 21 MPG with our iForce SR5 double cab here. And the only con I will say is if you buy this truck, you're probably gonna wanna get that tonneau cover, whether it be a soft or hard tonneau cover. If you're someone that uses your bed a lot and stuff sticks out of the bed, you get a tri-fold or something like that that you can fold up and take off. Uh, but there's just no room in this back seat. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you surprised the iForce did better than the iForce Max? Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And please remember, this SR5 off-road has the limited and 1794 TRD wheel and tire package, 20 inch wheel and tire package. It's not the 18 that comes on the SR5 TRD off-road. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Tundra Dude 34, Tundra Dude 34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe, be well, and thanks for coming along the ride with me.